Top tier autocross tires are really expensive, especially 315s. So I need to get as many events as possible out of my tires. I do everything I can to extend their life expectancy. But every drive to and from an event, every autocross run, and every heat cycle leaves me with a little less grip. Tires are a consumable, and no matter how much love you show them, eventually they won't be able to do what you need them to do out on course. My first autocross on these BFG Rival S 315s was in March of 2019. This is their 24th event. They've done over a hundred autocross runs, and those runs have taken their toll. The shoulders are well worn, and even though there's still some tread left, there might not be enough performance left to beat my competition. My 2000 GT is up against five other cars in Cam T. The course laid out on the airplane runway will really test my tires. It's twisty and technical, and capitalizing on grip will be key. Strict COVID-19 safety protocols are in place for this event. It's about 75 degrees and the course is dry. My tires are set at 29 PSI for run number one. It's always tough to gauge my true level of grip on my first run. My tires are cold, so it's hard to attack at 100%. But looking at the run, it's clear I can go faster just about everywhere on course. I can tighten up my line and adjust my angle of attack in the first squared off sweeper after the start, and I can be earlier in the short tight slalom before the last sweeper. I've lowered my air pressure to 26 PSI for run number two. Point six eight seven point two three five seconds faster but with heat in the tires I know I'm in trouble the grip just isn't there the car usually feels glued to the ground the tires begging me to go faster earning my trust with every turn and throttle input but now it feels like my tires are playing catch-up with my inputs Remember, grip isn't only a factor during acceleration and turning. Less grip means the car won't slow down as well, which is why I overcooked the entry into the last sweeper. I have to adjust my aggression and my inputs to a limit of traction that's further in than normal. I'm also going to make an air pressure adjustment, hoping to find more grip. I've lowered my air pressure to 25 PSI for my third run.
54.352 plus 1. I got sideways in the second sweeper, and I hit a cone in the short slalom before the last sweeper. My adjustments didn't work. The instant steering response, the composure at speed, and the confidence in the corners have all been dulled. There's no attack in the car. I gambled on getting one more event out of these tires, and I'm losing. I've got one run left. Realistically, I know I'm not going to chop a chunk of time off on this run, but I want to get a clean run and improve my time. This will definitely be my last run on these tires. But it won't be my last run on old tires. And in all honesty, better drivers than me would be able to get more out of these tires. If I'm going to lose, I'm going to learn while losing. I've kept my air pressure at 25 PSI for my last run. Point five six six point one two one seconds faster than my second run. I drove within the limits of my tires and managed to find a tiny bit of speed. I was only able to knock point three five six seconds off my first run. But was I able to knock off my competitors? Second place, but my position on the podium doesn't tell the whole story about my performance. If you look at the times, I'm 2.933 seconds behind the first place Mustang, Cam T94, and 0.747 seconds ahead of the third place Mustang, Cam T76. At the first event of the 2021 season, we finished in the same positions. But I was only 1.139 seconds behind Cam T94, and I was 1.834 seconds ahead of Cam T76. That's a difference of 1.794 seconds and 1.087 seconds, respectively. Two events worth of data isn't a lot, and there are several variables that factor in, but I was definitely slower than I have been this season relative to my tough competition. A big part of that was the lack of attack in my old tires. I've got a new set of 315-3018 Rival S 1.5 tires waiting to be mounted and balanced. Hopefully, fresh rubber will lead to faster times and a first place trophy. I'll post the results from my first event on the new tires soon.